This lesson for Nix Software's Define 2.0 Noise Reduction Software will take a look at applying noise reduction selectively utilizing a new feature called Color Ranges. Once you've opened your image in Photoshop, go to the Filter pull-down menu, drop-down menu to Define 2.0 and this will launch the new Define 2.0 preview window and the new user interface. We'll automatically measure the noise and this will profile this image based on placing of these small boxes around the image in areas that are smooth with no texture. That's specifically what the software is looking for. Uh, this is, these are the areas that most often will show or reveal digital noise and so that's what, that's what the software has been designed to look for, smooth non-textured areas. You'll notice that in the image information here, it's a 10 megapixel file, ISO 800 shot with an Icon D200. Now that's been automatically profiled and we could save that and use that later and then reload it automatically and actually load and, auto and automatically apply it based on setting that up in our settings menu. So that in the future, literally with one click to open, it'll open, measure, apply it, and then we can save it. Now that we've measured the noise, let's reduce it by the color ranges. We have the option here of the whole image, color ranges, or color or control points. So we'll go to color ranges and I'll take the eyedropper tool. The white areas don't seem to be too disturbing in terms of noise, so I think I'll probably leave those guys alone. So I'm just going to place an eyedropper tool in the red area for the background and I'll control that noise, con noise, color noise and contrast noise and in fact I might even bump it up a little bit. I'm not sure how specific you have to be here. It's kind of a personal taste thing. Second area I might do this area here, this green color. I can see some noise here as well. So I'll click on that one. We'll control some of that noise a bit and we'll just bump that up a little bit here and maybe in the white area I'll click here and I'll just pull that those sliders down to where I don't care about controlling the noise there. It's not a big issue for us. Um, we'll just zoom in on this area and we'll take a look. Now that we have the navigator tool, we can see what's happening. As we look around the image, we'll put on the split vertically so we can quickly see to the left and right, we can see before and after noise reduction. Let me zoom in just a little bit closer. We'll go into the 300% range. And by hitting the A key, which is the shortcut command to go back to the select tool, I can quickly move between the zoom tool and the select tool. Now that I have the select tool again, I can just move this red line left and right. And you can see down here in the navigator how zoomed in we are, how tight an area we're looking at. And here we'll go take a look at this dark green area. And again, on screen you can see before and after. It's really a dramatic difference. So we'll click OK. And as soon as we click OK, the software is automatically giving us a new layer. It's giving us a new layer mask. And as within all of the selective tools of Nick Software, it's also named the layer for us. Let me zoom in a little closer on the image. And we'll just take a look. Here's before and here's after. And let me go in a little bit tighter so we can just see this area right here specifically. Before and after. This is another quick way, this quick reference utilizing the color ranges uh, to selectively control exactly where you want the enhancement to be applied. 